Hey, hey, hello, welcome. Matt, great to see you. Jennifer, Suzanne, Linda, guess what? It's pouring with rain here, but you know what? I couldn't resist just being outside. It's the first time in 2021 we're doing the meditation outside. And you know what? The, the rain has actually inspired me for a theme today. So I'm going to come to that. Hello, Sabrina. How are you doing, my dear? Uh, it looks, it's not too bad, actually, Linda. A b little bit chilly, but here we are. I'm fine with it. Sabrina, lovely to see you. Paint, breathe, repeat. Fantastic. Gasso, Micah. And, uh, oh, I need to get a pair of glasses. <laughs> Good to see everybody. Uh, gorgeous green tree, yes. It's springtime, so we're celebrating, we're being outside, and then also we've got all this kind of new gear kind of set up so I can take the, the internet connection outside, and here we are. So listen, let's get settled. Thursday, 6 o'clock, our weekly meditation session. Uh, before we start, I would like to share with you, uh, wow, I'm so excited about this, 12-step manifestation and meditation course starting on May the 17th for two weeks, Finishing on the 29th, early bird tickets are on sale now. There's such great value that we provide for you guys. And it's all about manifestation, you know. And I'm going to be sharing some amazing insights and my favorite techniques, things that I've learned over the years about what manifestation is, how to get a clear focus, getting over the challenges, the obstacles that are in the way of us fulfilling our potential and learning how to collaborate with the universe because that's what it's all about, it's dancing with the universe. So if you want to dance with me, <laughs> May the 17th, check it out. It's going to be an amazing course. I'm so looking forward to it. And when I came out and it started raining and I, I thought, ah, oh, you know what? A lot of people complain about the rain oh, it's raining and I don't want to go out, but it's so beautiful to, to listen to the rain and also to feel it, the way the earth is receiving this nourishment. The earth is just being receptive. And let's face it, without the rain, there would be no green. Yeah, so Linda, there wouldn't be a green tree there, there would be a stick. So... I came up with the idea while I was sitting here. I thought, ask and you shall receive. Just to get you warmed up for the manifestation course as well. Okay. Ask and you shall receive. And this is one of the most famous quotes from the Bible. Right? So obviously there's a little bit more to it than saying, you know, can I have this please? Give it to me now. And it appears. It doesn't work like that. But the, the meditation I'm going to share with you today is kind of based on that. What, what the qualities of, what does that mean, asking you shall receive? How do I do that? So a little taster for you guys. So let's start by releasing yourself from the, the activity of the day. Or depending on where you are, of course, what time zone it might be. It might be the end of the day, or the next day, or who knows. <laughs> I know you guys dial in from all over the world, which is brilliant. Really lovely to see you. So whatever you're doing, wherever you are, what time of the day it is, just invite your mind to relax. So you bring your attention into the present moment by connecting to the body, connecting to the physical body. And a really easy and accessible way to do that is by taking a conscious breath. Breathing in, doesn't matter through the nose, through the mouth, being comfortable, just breathing naturally. But being aware of that breath, being aware of that breath. And then when you breathe out, notice how your body lets go, lets, it just relaxes, it's a natural feeling of release. Okay, so breathing in, feeling all that energy and life force coming into your body that sustains us. 
Uh, imagine we'd be like, if we couldn't breathe anymore, you, yes, let's not go there. Breathing in that energy, little gap and breathing out, feeling this sense of release, letting go, like a wave rising in the ocean, filling with energy and releasing as that energy is spreads as the wave collapses. So connecting to the body. And as your attention starts to flow more into the body, bringing it, maybe starting with your belly, relaxing your hips, allowing your legs to go soft, feeling your back straighten, your chest open, your shoulders Release any tension that's in the shoulders, around the neck, around your eyes. There's 80 muscles in the face. Give them a rest. Let the jaw relax. Simply softening each part as your attention flows more deeply into the body connecting to your senses, connecting to sounds, touch, taste, smell, vision. Even with your eyes closed, there's still some perception there. Being present with whatsoever is alive in you right now, whatsoever the content of your experience. Relaxing the body, connecting to sensations, feelings, emotions. Without any judgment. So not fiddling with your experience, not trying to change anything. Simply being open, grounded, present. This feeling of openness. And openness is like a feeling of acceptance, this non-resisting. I'm not fighting with the present moment. I'm not trying to solve anything. I'm not going anywhere. I'm simply being here now. A bit like when you fall asleep at night. It's that feeling of letting go. So just breathing at your own rhythm, allowing your breath to be natural and flowing effortless, really effortless. The body does all the work, the heart beats, the breath flows, your blood circulates, everything is amazing how it all works. And then taking a moment to connect to a feeling of gratitude So being receptive, ask and you shall receive. Now you cannot receive with a closed fist. To close your fist, just try that for a moment. It has to be tension, you have to force it. So being open, soft, being available, like the earth, being open and available for the rain to fall. So the earth is absorbing the rain, absorbing the nourishment, the gifts that this life invigorating water brings to this beautiful earth. So it's the same for us as human beings, being open and receptive. So the feeling of being open arises from being connected. And being connected simply means holding your attention in the present moment, connecting to the body, accepting whatsoever is there, the whole content of your experience in this moment, just being at peace with that. And then the openness, feeling that arise in your, your heart, this feeling in your chest of being a little bit vulnerable, allowing feelings to be there and going a little soft, 
but at the same time feeling safe. That safety arises from feeling grounded, relaxed in your body, especially in the, the hips and the legs area. Feeling connected, safe, and expanding and opening the space of your heart, the heart space, right here in the chest. Feeling whatsoever is there, giving it space. And then whatsoever is going on right now in your life, see if you can connect with a feeling of gratitude. Simply feeling grateful for what is now, this moment. Giving yourself this gift of being present, nourishing yourself by being present with yourself, connecting with yourself. Feeling grateful, simply allowing yourself to feel grateful, or maybe for something that arose during your day, or that's fresh in your mind. Or something that you're resting your gaze upon, a, a beautiful plant, a picture on the wall, or simply feeling grateful just for a breath, for having good health, and allowing that feeling to expand and to flow. And even if you're sitting there and so, well, I don't feel grateful for anything, then what would you, if you were to be grateful, what would you be grateful for? Just play with allowing that feeling to arise, that quality of gratitude, of receiving, being grateful for what you are receiving right now. Ask and sh you shall receive. But the first step is to be grateful for what you have, what is alive in you right now, what you're aware of in this moment, and feeling that. Ask and you shall receive. And then holding your attention in the body, in the heart, or feeling grounded. You can say a short little prayer to share your gratitude. So for example, by thy grace, I am here. And by thy grace, I shall be gone. I am open to receive thy infinite blessings. So like a prayer to the universe, being grateful for a breath, for small things. And then from that space, being open to receive the blessings of life. All right. And stay with that feeling of gratitude. It's the foundation of manifestation. Because without gratitude, there's no openness. And if there's no openness, then there's no one there to receive. There needs to be that open flow. Take a couple of breaths, letting that sink in, a feeling of gratitude. Being open to receive. And what's beautiful about this meditation is that even if you're not sure about what you want, you know, which is quite common, 
You can ask people, what do you want? I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people know what they don't want. Yeah? I don't want to suffer. I don't want to be bored. I don't want to feel pain. So if you're not even sure of what you want exactly, well, how would you like to feel? Be open to that. What are you grateful for now? Appreciate that. Appreciate moments, small things. And be open to receiving life's blessings. And like the rain will simply shower into your life in ways that you can't even imagine, or don't expect. So staying with the present moment, taking another few breaths, allowing that to sink more, more deeply into your heart. Relax with that, embrace it, feel that gratitude, and just rest there. All right. So gratitude. So take that into your day. Thank you so much for joining, uh, joining us in this virtual sanctuary. And welcome to the people that joined late. <laughs> it's lovely to see you. Maybe catch up in the Instagram TV video, though we'll publish this later. And thank you, Suzanne. Always a pleasure to see you. And take care. Yeah, be grateful, small things. Thank you for joining us today, and I will see you in the next session. So, namaste, gaso. So much love. Thank you, Sabrina. Yeah, love that prayer. Yes, thank you. Me too. Thank you, Sabina. Thank you, Jennifer. Grateful that the universe connected you with R. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet, Jenny. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. It's lovely to see you. Glad you made it this week. Hey, Walter. Thank you. Wow. So much love to you. Take care. Hope everything's sunny in Amsterdam. Okay. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next session. Be well. <laughs>